Hi, in this Fusion 360 video, I am, we're going to ultimately make a circus tent. Um, and the reason I chose that is it shows a few tools. For one, it shows you how to use um, the edge polygon tool. And then it reinforces the technique of press pull, including how you can change the size of the top face, which you'll see in a minute. So it's a way to make pyramidal type shapes. And we'll also look at extrude versus press pull again. And the circuit, the uh, circuit is a pretty fun thing to create as you're learning. So first of all, to create a polygon, that is a sketch tool. So we need a sketch in which to work in. And again, the quickest way to do that is by creating sketch and I will click the floor. And whenever you create a sketch, it always just shows you the plane that you chose to work on, which can make it easier when you're first creating the sketch part. So I am going, the polygon tool isn't typically listed up here. So I'm going to go to the create menu and you will see there are three different types of, there's three different polygon tools. And the first two are better used if you're going to make a polygon within a circle or outside of a circle. Uh, but if you're not using circles with your polygon, you want to use edge polygon. Now edge polygon actually creates regular polygons, which means that all of the edges will be the same size. So the technique of using the edge polygon is to establish your edge first and then choose the number of sides. So I'm gonna click edge polygon I often start my sketches at the origin, so I'm going to click there to place my first point. And I can, what it wants me to do now is basically choose the length of my edge and where I want that edge to be. I typically always do it along the x axis because then you have sort of a, a stable, a stable bottom to it when you come to extrude it. So if I was to extrude it at this angle, once it became a 3D object, it would be sort of halfway into the ground. So it really is a good idea to stick to this red axis. I'm going to, I can't get it quite to 100, so I'm just going to type in 100 and then I hit enter. And then, and zero degrees is fine, so I'll hit enter again. And it looks like nothing happens, even though I've established the size of my edge. But once you move your mouse, I'm going to pan a little. Once you move your mouse, you can see it's ready to create a hexagon, which is the default size. So hopefully you've also noticed over here, you can change the edge number. So if I wanted a equilateral triangle, I can enter a three and I'll get a triangle. Four obviously will get you a square, so it's a different way to get a square. Um, six is a pentagon, sorry, five would be the pentagon, etc. Now for me, circus tents should be like at least eight sides long. I'm going to actually type in 12. So I've just made a 12-sided polygon, which I believe is called a dodecagon. And I'm going to hit enter because I'm happy with that. Um, I accidentally... It's something which also shows me my measurement, but we'll, we'll ignore that for now. I can live with that. So here's my dodecagon, and it's ready to be extruded. So in order to extrude, we got to finish the sketch, and then I can come and use the extrude tool. One of the things I always point out to my kids is if you're still looking from a top-down perspective, the bird's eye view, when you hit extrude and choose this face, you're not going to see the arrow because you're directly above it. So if I tilt this a little bit, I can now see my arrow. In the previous video, when I was talking about extrusions, I only focused on this arrow. I did not focus on this dial. So this dial, really what I've done when I extruded, I've created a top face. So it lets you resize the top face. You can make your top face bigger or if you bring it to the left, it makes the top face smaller, which actually turns it into a pyramid. So I'm going to click OK because I like that pyramid. So now I have a dodeca dodecagonal period, pyramid. Um, 
Similarly, I'm going to go back into my sketch. If I, I'm going to pull over quite a bit because I don't want to ruin the thing I have. If I start with a circle and I click finish sketch and I show my sketch and I extrude this and I pull it in, I will get a cone. So the benefit of sketching uh, rectangles or circles or polygons is that when you extrude it, you have control over that top edge. Whereas when I teach my students box, cylinder, sphere, etc., like if I make a box or a cylinder with these two tools, it is either impossible or very difficult to go from a box to a pyramid. Um, I'm not sure if you can go from a primitive cylinder to a cone. You probably could, but it, I don't think it would be easy. So if you know that you're making a shape that you could make using a primitive, but you want to manipulate it more, you're probably off sketching it and, and, and extruding it. Okay. So now, this looks like only the top of a circus tent. And this brings us back to the difference between press, pull, and extrude. And I'm going to try press, pull. Press, pull is working like extrude right now. And it's probably one of my profiles. Well, I'm just going to click cancel. Um, sometimes press pull when you pull it down, and I am not sure what setting it is. No, that's definitely not the setting. Um, and click answer again. When you use press pull and pull down the bottom, a lot of times it just re resizes the whole shape. And I'm not sure why that's not happening for me right now. Yeah, it's going straight down like I want it to. Um, but a lot of times it doesn't, so it might be one of these. But again, I'm not sure what it is. All I know that if you try press pull and you pull down that bottom face, it might resize the whole object instead of just coming down straight. Whereas with extrude, you're safer using extrude because once we select the bottom, and pull it down, it will give you that straight down um, method. So we now have a circus tent. So I hope you have fun with that and it and that you learned about using the polygon and extrude and the little handle that lets you change the top when you're extruding.